ever go to someone's house and need the Wi-Fi password and they have this huge insane login it's all these letters and numbers and you're like really well this video we're gonna go through and show you how to share your Wi-Fi password for when your guests get there that way it makes it easier and you also don't have to give them your password welcome everybody I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new here and you like iPhone fixes, tips, tricks, app discovery, and carrier conversations, please do me a favor and smack that subscribe button. And go ahead and hit the like. would really appreciate it. Today we're going to be talking about sharing the Wi-Fi password. It's something that has been introduced in iOS 11, so if you don't have the newest updates, you may want to update, but that was a while ago, so you may already be on that platform. A lot of people have a problem doing this, and I'm going to go ahead and show you all the steps, so make sure you stay till the end, because a lot of videos always leave out the most important steps, and we're not going to do that here, because you know we like to be elaborate. <laughs> so right here, I'm going to go ahead and show you both screens. So here we're going to go ahead and choose settings. Now there are some things that need to be done. First one person has to be connected to the Wi-Fi to be able to share the password, which I am. You can see my Wi-Fi connection is currently Elmo. Also you'll notice Bluetooth is turned on. Bluetooth must be on on both phones. Now the second phone won't be on Wi-Fi yet and Wi-Fi will be off, but we'll get there in a moment. So the biggest thing that a lot of people miss is you have to have each other in your contacts and you just have to make sure it's your Apple ID. So basically at the top, my name, Kevin, last name is in her phone and her phone, her name is in my phone under contacts. If they're not under contacts, it's not going to work. It's very important you do that because a lot of people miss this step and that's what's going to stop it. If you don't want them in your contacts, then you're probably just going to have to give them the password the old fashioned way if that's how you want to do it. Or maybe turn on personal hotspot on your phone and do it that way. So we're going to go ahead and say that both of us are in each other's contacts. So now we're going to go ahead and get it connected. So you may ask, what are the main reasons you want to share your Wi-Fi password? Here's three that I've come up with. One, it's very complicated and not easy to share, and you don't want them to have your password. Two, it's very fast. Once you've done this, it's really quick once they're in your contacts and you can get them set up really fast. And three, if your parents changed the Wi-Fi password on you and they didn't tell you, you can go into their phone and share it, but don't tell them I told you. With that said, let's go ahead and show you how to do this. So with the secondary phone, you want to go into Wi-Fi. When you're in there, you want to go ahead and turn Wi-Fi on. If it's not already, you have to go ahead and connect to the exact same Wi-Fi which is going to be Elmo. So we're going to select Elmo. The password's going to pop up. Once it does to put the password in, it's going to ask me, do you want to share it? And all I want to do is go ahead and tap share password. And it's in process of sharing. It'll then say shared your password complete. And the other phone, as you can see, is also connected to Elmo. So there we go. Now we are all set up. They are on Wi-Fi and you didn't have to give them any of your passwords. So security stays nice and tight. If you're looking for more awesome tips and tricks, I have a tips and tricks video on my website, helpfultutorials.net. It's completely free and it's a really good video. I know you'll enjoy. Also, here are some other videos that I really recommend for you. And I want to thank you so much for the view.